Okay, you guys, welcome back. I feel like I've been waiting for this thing for so long. I ordered this bad boy in the first pre-order round, first round of pre-orders, whatever. And I've been waiting and waiting, and uh, I don't know, maybe I should have paid for expedited shipping or something because I feel like I'm the last person on earth who's gonna be posting their video about this. But it finally came. It's like almost five o'clock. I've been waiting for this thing all day. I knew it was supposed to come today, but I was really hoping it was gonna come earlier. So yeah, let's just, uh, actually, before I show you the box, can I just quickly show you what I'm wearing? So this stuff actually came in today as well. This is from Savage X Fenty. I don't know if you can see the little logo on my pocket, but it's a, uh, what do they call this? Like a smoking jacket? It's like a almost like a robe, but it only goes like down to there. And then I also, I'm gonna stand on the couch now. I got these awesome like lounge pants. So nice. Okay. And I just feel like the outfit goes with the theme of the box. So here it is the Unearthly Cosmetics Valentine's Day Mystery Box. I've never tried anything from Unearthly, so this is the first thing that I'm going to be trying from them. Everybody that I watch loves Unearthly, so I trust the quality, and everybody raved about their last mystery box, which was their um, Halloween mystery box. So I figured, you know what? <laughs> it, when the uh, next mystery box comes out, let me just get it, and here it is. And when I saw that it was all black and red, if you know me, you know I like black and red. <laughs> when I saw that and saw that it was like Valentine's Day, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely getting that. So I kind of had the palette spoiled for me because early on uh, somebody um, posted a video with the box and you know how on YouTube, on your TV, when you like go through stuff, it'll start showing you like clips from the video. I went past this girl's video and it was just like, bam, there's the palette in your face. And I was like, okay, great, whatever. I guess I've had the palette spoiled for me. Um, but I mean, it was the color story that I was hoping for. I love reds and berries and things. So at least I know that is gonna be in here. But I'm also hoping, um, I'm gonna assume that there's probably gonna be at least one lip product in here. I haven't watched anybody's videos about this because I didn't wanna spoil it, so I'm just guessing what might be in here. I'm kind of hoping that there might be some blush and highlighter. I would love it if there was like a red highlighter. I don't know what the chances of that might be, but I would love a red highlighter. I've been thinking about that lately and I want like a nice red highlighter. But without further ado, let's get into this thing. If I look like I'm struggling to open this, it's because I am. I'm holding it at a really weird angle so you can see. Oh, they said on their Instagram that the packaging on here was gonna be a little on the sexy side, so hopefully I can show this stuff. If not, I don't know. I'm gonna have to like edit around that. Oh my God. No, I'm not opening it the right way, that's why. This way? Oh, okay. I understand. So it's like this. <laughs> you ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna peel away the the black. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world in terms of sexiness. There's a little bit of like a bondage thing going on here with these lip products. I don't know if you can see that, but they're like kind of tied up in bows. But like, look at her. Oh, I love her. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start taking things out. Okay. So let's start with the eyeshadow palette. Like I said, I kind of had this one a little bit spoiled for me, but I'm still super excited to see it in person. So it's called Surrender. So here it is. And this is like the nice kind of berry toned sort of color story that I was looking for. But there's some unusual stuff going on in here too. Like what is that? Uh, bustier, this one here, this is kind of like a, I don't know, would you call that a taupe? I don't know if my funky lighting is affecting it, but it's either like a gray brown or like a taupe. This one here, this one's almost 
a little bit like peach. It's called corset. Um, it has a nice red. I'm wondering what this is because it looks kind of purpley, um, but I'm wondering if I swatch it, if it'll look kind of different. Wow. Wow, that pink, that like iridescent pink. It looks like it's an iridescent pink. I'm excited for that one. Seductive, look at that. Is that a duochrome? I think that's a duochrome, hold on. Yeah, yeah, it's like a gold to a red, I think. Can you see that? Are there any other shifty ones? See, this one here might be a little bit of a duochrome captivating. Can't really tell, it kind of looks like a peachy sort of thing to like a, see, doesn't it kind of shift a little? This is very shifty. I re I'm really excited to play with that one. But I think this one too is a shifty one. I can't really tell for sure. Would it be psycho if I did the face palette last? I actually feel like I'm the most excited for the face palette. Hold on. S let's do the lippies first. So this one here is a satin liquid lipstick. I'm gonna guess that it's probably gonna be like a sultry red. Ooh. What? Do you see that? It's like a, almost like a snow globe. It has little moons in it. Ooh, focus please. Look. Oh, that is delightful. Oh, you know what? This might actually be how do you open this? This might actually be a neutral. It looks like a neutral looking at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, so it's like a cute, is it peachy neutral? I don't have a ton of light in this room right now. Like I have the light coming this way, but looking at it from this angle, it's just dark. <laughs> but it looks like it's like a, should I swatch it? Maybe I'll swatch these bad boys. It's a little bit like cupcake scented. Okay, so it's like a peachy neutral, I think. I'm gonna have to look at it in better lighting, but as far as I can tell, it's like a peachy neutral. That's really nice. Let's look at this one. This is another satin liquid lipstick. Are they all? Yes, so all three of these are satin liquid lipsticks. So one of them is probably gonna be a red, right? That looks like another neutral, actually. Same situation, though, with the packaging. By the way, that first one was called Dreamy. Can you see that, Dreamy? <laughs> this one is called Delight. You know what? So this one is actually a brown, a little bit chocolatey. I don't own anything like that, but I've kind of been thinking that I wanted to get more things like that for when I want to do those more chocolatey looks. <laughs> Every now and then, I just, I think to myself, hmm, I kind of want a chocolatey lip, but I never have uh, the stuff for it. Let's try the last one. <laughs> Maybe this one will be a red. This one is called Flirt. Flirt. Can you see it? Is it focused? I don't know. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. So this is actually a pink. Or it looks like a pink. Same thing with the packaging. Let's pop it up. Ooh. Ooh, it's like a purpley. It kind of goes with what I'm wearing. It's like a purple, purple pink, like berry, or maybe even like eggplant. Let me shear these out a little, and then maybe we'll get a little bit more of their true color showing. Wow, okay. Those are beautiful. Wow. Other than that last one, the more purpley one, I don't have anything even a little bit like these. Um, I, honestly, I don't even know. I have things that are kind of similar to that, but definitely not in this formula. And these two, I, I honestly don't have anything quite like that. So I'm excited for those. It's very interesting to me that they didn't do any red or even like a bright pink or anything. It was all maybe things that you wouldn't expect from a, you know, collection like this based on Valentine's Day. Um, Cause pink and red are kind of the go-tos, right? 
But let's see what the Surrender face palette is gonna be like. <laughs> I guess both the eyeshadow palette and the face palette are named Surrender. I'm excited. So this is a glowing blush palette and oh my goodness. I will say, I am not the biggest fan of glowy blush. Ooh, that one like is shifty. Ooh, see the one on the end? It's like pink to gold shifty. Does this one shift a little? Eh, maybe not. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm not the biggest fan of, um, you know, glowy blushes, but these are beautiful. These are beautiful colors. And I think that they're really unique to my collection. I don't think I have anything like these in my collection because this one this one is almost purpley pink this is like a vibrant like hot pink and then this is like kind of a a neutral sort of a pink with that gold shift I'm trying to like show the shift i think these are beautiful i want to try all three of them <laughs> I just want to hold these up together so you can see how both the eyeshadow palette and the glowing blush palette kind of go together. Like look at how their color stories complement one another. That's beautiful. I like that. Okay, so if you want to see me using these products, stick around. I'm going to do a look with these and I'll tell you how they perform, or at least, you know, for me, and uh, yeah, give you my sort of first impressions. Okay, let's get into a look. I'm not gonna use any primer. I don't need this to like last a long time, but uh, I'm kind of excited because I'm using several new products. I actually just grabbed these today um, from CVS. Look at how cute these are. Oh, I should actually wet this, but look, it matches what I'm wearing. I love colors like this. Anyway, but more importantly, I got a new foundation. This is Lancome foundation. I have another Lancome foundation that I've been using quite a lot. I think it was 100 Ivory Warm. This one is 230 Buff Warm and I think it just, I mean, the other one was too light for me and I think this one in terms of the tone is also better. The other one was also a little bit too yellowy. I went into Sephora yesterday and saw, I during the day, like at work, I was looking these up thinking like, I gotta find my right shade. Like, I don't know what my actual shade is because the one that I have is not right. Um, and I was looking online and I was like, I don't know which of these would be me, but I put a few in my wish list and I was like, I'll, I'll, look, at them, I'll look at them in store. So I went and I looked at them in store and uh, I saw that they were half off. Didn't know that, it didn't say anything about that online. I guess it was just in store. I don't really know, but so half off. Usually these are $57. I got mine for, I think, $28.50. I, I think was what it was. It was 20 something. But yeah, a girl came over and she helped me pick a shade. She was putting them on the palette and I was putting them on with a little sponge and seeing which ones worked. Some of them were too dark. Some of them were too yellow. Some of them were too just whatever. But then I put this one on and I was like, this one, this one looks good. And she agreed. So excited to uh, be putting this one on today. Okay, so I just wet this bad boy and it's so nice and squishy now. It feels like it's retaining a lot of moisture though. Hopefully it's not too wet. I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to use this, but this is how I'm going to use it. I'm gonna put some of the foundation on here. I'm gonna kind of place it with this side and then I'm gonna go in and blend it with the other side. I'm not gonna show you like the whole process because I feel like you don't need to see the whole process like you know what <laughs> you know what goes on so I can't see anything with these red lights on top of the fact that I have like gone completely blind working a desk job and staring at a computer all day so I couldn't find my big mirror so I'm using my little tiny one from BH and just kind of hoping for the best <laughs> hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Okay, so I just finished up uh, my foundation, concealer, and um, contour and bronzer in the bathroom. I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am to actually have a foundation that like works with my skin tone and I don't feel like I have to like struggle to 
correct that. My concealer is still very light though. I gotta try to find a concealer that's not so crazy. I'm gonna go in with Persuade, the eye base from Sigma. And uh, we'll get this party started. Actually, before I do the eyes, I may want to uh, do the blush. I'm just a little undecided though about exactly how I wanna do the blush. Can you tell that I feel rushed in today's video? I hate that. I hate feeling rushed. And I know that I don't do as well when I feel rushed, but I mean, it's super late. I waited all freaking day for this package. And now I feel like I have to get this video done. Whatever, at least I don't have to edit it right away when I'm done. I'm filming this on Friday. The video is not gonna go up until Sunday. So I do feel like I would benefit from some blush. Should we just get right into that? Just start doing the blush situation. I don't know which blush I wanna use though. Let me look at the palette, the eye palette, and kind of get a feel for what I wanna do with my eyes. You know I'm gonna to wanna to use that red. What else do I want to use? Let's go in. I want to use all three of these. But look at that one. That one's calling to me. It's the craziest looking one. I have no idea how pigmented these are going to be. I'm going to take this really fluffy brush that I've been using. Hopefully it doesn't have anything left on it. I mean, it obviously is like a little stained. But wiping it off of my arm. Nothing's coming off. Let's do this. Can't really tell how much is coming off on the brush. Just, just going in like this. Mm, okay, so I'm kind of relieved to see that it's a bit softer and more buildable because this shade, I mean, you can see it for sure, but this shade is vibrant in the pan. So I'm glad to see that it doesn't quite go on quite the same way. Probably starting to look a little bit crazy, right? But once I get the eye makeup on, you're like not even gonna notice that I have blush on. That's what always happens. I'm thinking of taking this shade Passionate and putting it on my forehead, just so we can see what the different shades look like. There's a mirror right on this. Let me just use this. See, that one's a bit cooler in tone. Ooh, so blushed. I don't follow any rules about like how to apply face makeup, so have you ever noticed that I look weird? It's because I flout the rules. <laughs> You're like not supposed to put blush in the same area where you have like contour. I definitely put some contour like along here and I'm going right over it with the blush. <laughs> I don't care. Rules are for squares. I will also say that I'm not noticing a ton of shimmer and shine which is very nice because I was afraid that I was gonna look overly shiny with this being a glowy blush trio. Next though, I wanna see what this one looks like, the, the sort of duochrome pink to gold. Well, this one here. With this one, I'm actually gonna take this brush. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put it on top, like here, kind of like where a highlighter would go. Cause this one looks like it's the most shiny and shimmery. What do we think of that? <laughs> kind of just bringing it right up under the eye. Oh baby, what? Do we think of that? Do I look sunburned? <laughs> I'm also gonna take that one on my nose. Just take it all over the nose. Just really got it. <laughs> okay, I mean, I look sunburned, but it's cute. I think. 
I'm definitely going to have to play with these more, give them more of a chance to shine on their own. Yeah, I like them so far. I definitely look sunburned, though. I kind of overdid it. I was overly excited. I'm sorry. Now, though, let's get into the palette. And again, keep in mind, I've, I've never used um, Unearthly Cosmetics, so I have no idea how this is going to perform. I have no idea how this is going to go. So this pink, this light baby pink, I have no idea what that's supposed to be called. Ch chemise? Ch chemise? I, I don't know what it's called, but that's what it looks like. I'm wondering if I should use that as a transition. Let's start there. Let's use that one as a transition. just going right in we'll see what happens I'm using a brush that I got from Odin's eye oh actually that reminds me I have some new brushes from Odin's eye that I haven't used yet I mean this is blending nicely okay folks now how would we feel if I started to add some intensity with the bright red let's see how that goes Oh, that's a nice bright red. I'm always on the hunt for nice reds. Yeah. I'm just kind of taking it through the crease. Maybe I'll actually bring it down over here and then blend it up through that pink. I think I'm going to take Intoxicating, this one here, because that looks like it's going to be a nice red shimmer to go right on the center of the lid. Oh, yeah. So this is definitely a red, but it's that nice, soft kind of red. I'm just going back in with that light pink and just softening the blend up here. I know it's going up pretty high, but I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, so now we're going to deepen up the outer corner with Sensual. And I'm just going to keep using the same brush. I'm just going to very gently start going in here. Don't want to force it, just very soft. I'm not trying to go too intense, you know? Too crazy. Taking it up into the crease just a little bit. Just kind of blending it all out. That looks nice, right? Let's get that done on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to take this uh, shade here called Seductive, which is like the duochrome, as I mentioned before. I'm going to just take a little on my finger. That is so soft. <laughs> That's the first time that I've actually touched one of these, and it's so soft. I'm taking it on my finger, and I'm just putting it in the very center of my lid it's so shiny and so beautiful and i'm just giving the center of my I this is gorgeous it's so the shift is so strong and it's so soft and nice i'm just giving the center of my lid that little highlight pop oh yeah this shade is really really nice I, I honestly can't believe how like soft and beautiful it feels. Just swatching what I have left on my hand. That's beautiful. It's that one. It's really shifty and gorgeous. I love that. Hmm. What do I want for my inner corner? I'm going to take Alluring, which is the more pinky shade, and I'm just going to do my inner corner. It's a little dusty. Ooh, <gasps> that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I personally think that that's gorgeous. I don't know if it's translating as well on camera, but I think it's gorgeous. I love that for the, for the inner corner. In person, it's like really shiny and beautiful. 
I like it a lot. Now though, I have a decision to make about what I want to do with the lower lash line. I think I'm going to take this matte color called Generous and I'm going to bring it under my eye. And then, ooh, it is a great color. It's so pigmented though, so that's what's making me nervous. Oh, it's, it's blending nicely though. Like it's, it's softening up. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Oh my God, that's perfect. I don't even think I have to do anything else under my eye. That just completed it. Yeah, I think that that's perfect for the under eye. Like not even trying to be dramatic. I think it just uh, brought it together really nicely. I do actually still kind of feel like there's too much blush though. I think I did go overboard with the blush. The decision that I have to make now though is what to do with the lips. To match my outfit, outfit, my like pajamas that I'm wearing, I'm very tempted to go in with this one. What was the name of it? Flirt, which is the pinky purpley one. Wow, it's really creamy. I'm super hyped, like, to go and look at what other people did with these products, because I didn't, like I said, I didn't watch anybody else's videos. So I want to go back on YouTube and, like, just watch all those videos of all those other creators that did their unboxings. That's the natural shape of my lip. It's so sideways. Okay, let's build it up a little on this side. Try to make it look a little more even. You can't really tell that my lips are super uneven until I put a lip product on. And it's like, oh wait, your lips are janky. Did that work? I don't know, I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm not gonna get all upset about it and get all wild. So I think that this is the look. Do you like it? A little undecided about how I feel about the, uh, the lip. In terms of like how it feels, it looks beautiful. Really beautiful. But um, it's got a little tiny bit of like a tackiness. I'm assuming that will eventually dry down. Let's look at it up close. Okay, so honestly, eyeshadow, gorgeous. I'm really into these eyeshadows. They worked really, really beautifully. Look at how like just shimmery and beautiful my eyes look. Just get up close and personal so you can take a little look. <laughs> The glowy cheeks actually look really, really nice. There's not like too much glow, which is what I was anticipating. Um, I think it looks really good. And yeah, the lip is beautiful. Like I said, there's just a, a little, you know what? I think it is actually starting to go away though. Just the tiniest bit of tackiness, like in here, where it feels like my lips are a little like, <laughs> By the way, are my teeth looking any better? I've started whitening them. I mean, it's only been three days, but I can't keep filming videos with Cheeto teeth. Like, it's just not something that I'm okay with. I'm not okay with it. So this is the finished look. I hope that you liked it. And uh, tune in on Wednesday, because I'm going to have another video. I don't know what that one's going to be. I haven't actually thought about that one. I was so invested in getting this thing done. <laughs> I haven't even been thinking about like other ideas for other videos. But you know what? Now this is done. I can move on. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you're excited for Valentine's Day. I'm actually pretty excited. I just bought some stuff for my husband today. Some, uh, you know, Valentine's Day stuff. 
But uh, yeah, definitely hope that you enjoyed the video and I will be seeing you on Wednesday. Peace out.